Hello everyone, and in today's video we're going to go over everything on bobsleigh. This is a more advanced tutorial, but it also features a lot of the simple things to do on bobsleigh as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing I'm going to mention is where to aim on an entry. So what I'm noticing most people are doing is entering too late. But there is a simple trick that can make you aim a lot better. On most bobsleigh entries in the game, you will save this block. So what you can do is aim for this spot on this block to almost always have good entries. So let's say you're in a live cup of the day round and you get a wobble. How do you fix that? When you're in a wobble in a bobsleigh, your car is going to go up and down because that's what the wobble is, right? So when your car is going down, you want to steer down and when it's going up, you stop steering at all. Sometimes you only have to do this once to fix the problem. But on extreme cases, you have to do this multiple times to stabilize your car. Something that is also important to know on entries is that don't steer too early, man. If you steer too early, your car will just do a wobble, so wait till your car is stabilized and then steer. Something you also want to do while turning in a bobsleigh is holding action keys on lower speeds. Now, console players don't have action keys, which I think is really weird and I really, really hope that Nadeo adds it to console players because even though the action keys are made for keyboard players it often get used for control players as well like I'm controller and I use it all the time but let's get back to what you need to do in a bobsleigh turn so hold action key 4 in bobsleigh under 400 speed this will help you go faster and when you get up to 400 speed you just take off the action key and do full steer because then full steer will be fastest but at very low speeds, you will have a situation where you can't hold action key 4 because that will be oversteering. So what do you do? Then it's faster to tap action key 4. Tapping action key 4 will be the fastest way to go when you're in a very very slow bobsleigh in the start of a map. Now let's go take a look at wiggles, which is a very important thing if you want to go fast on bobsleigh. Wiggles can be performed because of that the bobsleigh turn is slanted inwards on the exit of a bobsleigh turn. Wiggles cannot only be performed on the exits, they can also be performed by you manually steering out to the side and while your car is going inwards, you can start the wiggles because of that that you have the downhill. So let's go more in depth on how you do the wiggles on the exit of a bobsleigh turn. The first wiggle out of a bobsleigh turn should always be the same direction that you're turning. So let's say you're taking a right turn. The first wiggle out of the bobsleigh turn is always going to be a right wiggle. And the wiggle out of a bobsleigh turn, you should always try to do 3, and if you don't have the space, do the wiggles that you have space for. And in the exit of a bobsleigh turn, it's pretty important as well to know this extra trick. So, when you're exiting a bobsleigh turn, release your steering for a split second right before you start the wiggles. Because releasing your steering will push the car a tiny bit up on the wall, so then when you do the first wiggle, it will be more powerful. But Trying to do wiggles at an exit is not always faster. Take this map for example. This was Cup of the Day last month, and I hunted this a lot. But I noticed that in this turn, wiggling is not actually faster. So to explain why this is not faster, is because when you're doing wiggles, you're going in a straight line. But on these turns, you could not do that, because the turns were placed too close to each other, so that instead of wiggling, I had to steer left and line myself up for the next turn instead. So if I were to do my normal wiggle line on this turn, I would just enter way too late and fly up on the wall. You can kind of think at it as normal wiggles on grass for example. Because on grass, when you're straight, you want to do the wiggles. But if you want to go to the side, you just speed slide to the side. It's kind of the same thing here, that if you have to go straight, then you can wiggle. But if you have to go to the side, you just steer to the side. And the last wiggle I want to talk about is the entry wiggle. The entry wiggle is a wiggle that my friend Katsi found and it only gives you a few extra speed but that few extra speed can snowball to 0.1, 0.2 in the ending. And this is what it looks like. And the last thing I want to talk about is that if you have a jump into a bobsleigh, it's faster to land on the side of the bobsleigh than landing flat. Now when you have watched the video, I really hope you understand bobsleigh a lot better and how people are so fast at bobsleigh. Because it's quite ridiculous between a normal player and a really good bobsleigh player, the times that you can get. And 
with all this being said, I hope you guys have a really good day or night, and I will see you in the next video. Catch out.